Today, our group will be presenting about geometry. Geometry is the study of shapes, size, and the properties of space. Geometry can be divided into two major groups. Firstly, plane geometry, which deals with two-dimensional shapes that includes circles, triangles, squares, and your typical 2D shapes. And secondly, solid geometry, which deals with three-dimensional objects to turn 2D into 3D. You will need depth or an extra axis to extrude the shapes into higher dimension. Let's say you have a square. Extruding it will automatically make four extra faces and double the edges. But here's a question. How do you measure the shapes that you just created? Good question. To start with, the perimeter is the sum of the length for all the edges around a shape. Just add the length of the sides and there's your perimeter. How about area? Area is the measurement of space enclosed within a two-dimensional shape which is measured in square units. It could be as simple as multiplying the length and width of a square to get the area. How about solid objects I hear you asking? You could multiply the area you calculated with height. Or you could just start from scratch and multiply length, width, and height together. It could get pretty complex depending on your choice of solid objects. Let's check out what we can do with shapes and areas in real life. For perimeter, we could try it on our door. Let's say our poly wants to install new chain link fences. They'd need to know how long of a chain link they'd need to buy to completely surround the dorms. Using this value, we could determine the chain link length they'd need. How about area? Let's say you want to repaint the futsal court while renovating. First, you'd want to get the width and length of the court. After that, you would multiply them together to get the area. That's all from us. Thank you.